hey guys welcome to our react router tutorial in this video we shall cover everything you need to know about getting react router to work on your application now let's talk about the react routing concept so react router is react's standard routing library routing is defining navigation from page to page with a defined URL for each page, just like we have in our standard HTML websites. So let's use an application payant to explain this. I'll pull up my browser now and I would say payant.ng. You see, this is the home page of the payant application. Over here in the navbar, we have pricing, developers, product, and blog. Now take note of the URL here. It's just payant.ng because this is the home page. Now when I click on pricing, you see it takes me to the pricing page and also it adds forward slash pricing to payant.ng. When I select product and I click on payments, you see it takes me to forward slash product forward slash payments. So this is the concept behind routing. So let's go back to our notepad. Okay, we have this point here that says React Router allows us to build React applications where you can move from the home page to the contact us page or any other page actually without the whole application being refreshed. You know, back then on websites, if you want to visit the about us page and you click on about, you will have the whole website taking two minutes to refresh just to give you the about page that you requested for. Like, let's use payant for example. Back then, if I wanted to visit the pricing page here and I click on pricing, I would have the whole payant website refresh before it gives me pricing. But as you can see, this is actually easier now. I have the pricing page coming up easily. I have the product page. If I click on product and payments, you see I have this return to me as quick as possible. Okay. So enough of the talking, let's get VS Code to see how we can have the React Router library working in a React application. So let's pull up our VS Code. Already I have a React app created. I created a folder on my desktop called Route. And inside that folder, I pulled up my terminal here while inside the folder. And I did npx create React app route app. To have this folder created npx create react app route app and i hit enter to create the react app folder there so after that i came here in my src folder i deleted everything that was there and i created an index.js file which is this in my index.js file i have react imported which is normal react dom imported and I imported app, which is a component I created myself. And I have the React DOM.render statement here. So in my app.jsx, which is like my other parent component, I have React imported. I have the other components that I have created. Nav, contact, about, product, and home. I have all of them imported here. Now over here is the bootstrap import line. I'm going to be using the bootstrap navbar component so i installed bootstrap for this to work you must install bootstrap like so npm install bootstrap and you hit enter now when the installation is complete come here in your app.jsx and import bootstrap like so for bootstrap to work so let's spin up our server we are going to say npm start right there let's wait for our server to spin okay the reason our server is not running is because we are in the wrong directory i am in the route directory the folder i created on my desktop for my server to run or for your server to run if you're following what i'm doing you have to cd into the route app folder which is the react app that we created so i would say route app and when i do npm start you see the server is going to start my internet explorer close that okay so let's go to our google chrome browser and let's hit localhost port 3000 as you can see we have this this is how it looks 
if you've written react before you know this is what you have to expect so the nav section homepage, everything arranged the way it is arranged in the app.jsx file now we want to use the react router library to create a situation where the users will click on a link to go to the about page when they want to go to the about page or click a link to go to the products page when they want to visit the products page same for the contact us page so we are going to use the react router library to do that so when you pull up your vs code to get react router working the first thing you do is to install the react router library and it's very easy make sure you cd into the route app folder the react app folder just like i did make sure you cd into that folder to install this so you say npm install react router dom and you hit enter i have it installed already so when you hit enter this is going to install in some minutes depending on the strength of your internet connection so when the installation is complete in our app the JSX, we are going to import the react router library like so we are going to say import using the structuring we we'll say from react router dom from react router dom so what are the properties or what are the methods that we want from the react router dom package we want one package called browser router and we want another package called route all from the react router dom package or library or whatever you choose to call it so let's see how to use these items that we have imported from the react router dom package so over here in our div tag we are going to wrap every component with the browser router class or method that we just imported from the react router dom package so we would say browser router it's an opening and closing tag and let's cut everything here and let's place it right there so we have that now let's save that after that we are going to use route here and the way we are going to use route is very easy we are going to change all of these components to routes and the reason we are not going to change the nav component to a route is because the nav component is always going to be fixed right there at the top of the application so it's not going to be a route so changing a component to a route means that the component will not stay on the home page always you would have to click on a link to get to that route so let's change home here to route and route takes some properties so the first property here will be the path property so this property will define the path of this route and since we are trying to go to the home component the home route in web development is always forward slash now when you do that in the home route always pass in this keyword exact always passing that keyword only for the home route now after the exact keyword we are going to pass in components so which component are we going to assign to this route we are going to assign the home component and make sure you have the home component imported because if you don't have it imported it's not going to work also before we go to the next route make sure the c in components is lowercase now let's change the about component there to a route so let's pass in the path so we are going to say about this is not fixed actually you can say my about our about or anything but it's conventional to just say forward slash about all in lowercase now let's pass in the components and which component do we want to assign to this route we want to assign the about component to this route same thing for the product components i'm going to say routes path let's say product and let's say component product and for the contact same thing route path so we are going to say forward slash contact and the component will be contact 
so that's all we need in the app.jsx to have the react router working so if we spin up our server once more and we go to the browser and refresh this page you'd see we have this now we have the nav section which is always going to be fixed right there and the home page the home page because we are at the home url so if i say forward slash about now you see i have the about page returned to me and the about page is returned to me because i am making a request to go to the about page so this is how it's supposed to be now when i say product you see the products page is returned to me so we are going to use a navbar component from bootstrap and make this clickable so that users can click on a link to go to this route so let's go to the bootstrap website let's select a navbar you can use any navbar components that you are comfortable with but i'll be using i'll look for one to use i think this is okay for me i would use this one so i would come here to my nav.jsx because those links are going to be in the nav section so the users are going to click on the links on the nav section to go to those pages just like we have over here in pay ants so just like we have here they're all in the nav section so i would go to the nav component i'll take this out and i'll paste everything that we copied from bootstrap okay we have some indentation issues so i would grab this i'll shift that inside okay still go once more all right then so i'll take out this button because i don't want that now all the class keyword here will have to be changed from class to class name because this is jsx and this is not html so class is a reserved word in javascript so we are going to call this class name class name class name all the bootstrap classes are still going to work fine they're all going to work fine so class name class name class name and that's that one other thing that i already had here was the link class from the react router dump package so in your nav.jsx you are going to make this import import link in curly brackets there from react router dom so we are going to use link in this case to replace all our anchor tags here so just think of link in react router dom as anchor tags so let's take off the a tag here and let's pass in link and link is an opening and closing tag so you close the link tag there now let's take this off the link tag will take one property called to this will be used to define the path you want to visit the path of the components that you want to visit so in this case i want to visit the home page and what's the path name for the home page it's just forward slash if you come here to the app.jsx you'd see the home page just has this forward slash so over here I'll change the anchor tag here to link so I can pass in the home or the about component. So I'll close this here to link. Take out the href there and pass into which path am I trying to go to? I'm trying to go to the about path, which belongs to the about component. So that's that. So you change home here to about. To about. Now let's do the same for these other components we have products so we are going to change this to link and also close link there take out the href and let's say product and finally we'd have contact so link link take out the href replace it with toe and you'd have contact as our path name so here will be product here will be contact us so let's take off this other list item that we have here because we are not going to make use of it so now let's go back to the browser and let's go back to our react app now as you can see we have 
the products page showing up here because our path here is localhost but 3000 forward slash products so so if i click on the about link here in the nav section you see i'll be taken to the about page if i click on contact us i'm taken to the contact us page and if i click on navbar it takes me to the home page so i'd have to change that to home so this is going to be home so when i click on home now it brings me to the home page about home products contact us so this is how routing works in react using the react router library so i can come back to my contact us component here and i can add a p tag here and i'd say you can reach us on any number below when i save that and i go back to the browser you see it's updated now i have everything still working fine so that's that for our react router tutorial so for now don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share